Hi, today we are going to learn uh, how to classify images based on the mobile net version 2. We will uh, try to classify this image, this Shih Tzu, uh, dog image, and we will uh, do some coding in order to use the pre-trained uh, model of mobile uh, net v2 in order to classify uh, this image and uh, finally we will get uh, a result, uh, investigate the result and extract um, the name of the detected uh, class. So in order to do that we will uh, create a Conda environment. I will pass uh, this uh, process. As you can see I will leave uh, some comments in my GitHub uh, repo in order to help you um, demonstrate the same environment. I'm using Python 3.9.16 and we will use TensorFlow 2.10. Uh, uh, we'll also use NumPy and OpenCV as well. So first of all we will uh, import from the TensorFlow Keras application, we will import the MobileNet uh, v2 and this is the name of the first function and the second one will be the process input. I will cover it later. So we are creating the model based on the mobile uh, net v2. Let's print it and print the summary. And basically we will see all the network. Please, uh, um, we will not cover this in this uh, process, but as you can see there are uh, 1000 uh, classes that can be detected. Basically this is the ImageNet uh, um, repository. So these are the uh, ImageNet 1000 uh, classes list. You can Google it and we are basically uh, looking for one, detecting one of those uh, classes, which is the Shih Tzu dog. Next, we will import NumPy and OpenCV. And let's load our image. Uh, this is the image. This is the Shih Tzu dog. And I will leave the, the image as well in the same repo. So now we are loading this image. And next we will uh, print the shape of this image. Let's see the result. As you can see this is the shape 1600 on 1200 by three channels. And if we are looking at the documentation of this mobile net, it's expecting to detect a, another shape of 224 by 224. So let's resize our original image to this required size. Once again, after resizing the image, let's print the shape just to double check. Great. As you can see, this is our required shape. Let's continue. Let's continue to the next step. And now we are creating an empty number array that is on a specific shape. It's like creating a batch of images that the first item will be our image. So we are creating a number array of one by 224 and 224 and three channels, the red, green, and blue. And now we are storing on the first element our image. So once again let's print the shape we are expecting to see a 1 by 224 and 224 that means that this empty shape is now as uh, has as the first element our image. Great let's continue. Next, we are going to normalize the, the data. Basically, the images has a data with the values between 0 and 255, and the model is based on another range of values. So we are uh, running this uh, pre-process input on our, um, on our NumPy array, and this will be the input for our predictions. So now we are running the predict function uh, inside our uh, model and let's print the results, this predictions uh, variable. As you can see, it's a lot of numbers. So basically uh, those numbers are 
all the predictions of the 1000 uh, expected classes. So we are looking for the high value uh, of those 100 uh, uh, answers or results. So let's get the high index value using this argmax uh, function and let's print it. Let's run it. And let's see what would be the value. And the value was 155. Let's look in the ImageNet website what is 155. As you can see, it's a Shih Tzu. A Shih Tzu is a type of a dog. So as you can see, our model is detecting this Shih Tzu dog. Shih Tzu dog. Great. Now let's see the prediction value. So we are expecting to see a, a, a value between 0 and 1. And this will be the, the prediction value of this Shih Tzu, uh, Shih Tzu dog. So let's print it again. We are now extracting only the value of position 155. As you can see, it's 0 0.89. So it's approximately 90% 90 pre 90 of prediction, a very good score. That means that the model is is thinking that the, the result is a Shih Tzu dog in a, in a high accuracy. So now let's uh, continue and move on and let's print the five best uh, detections. So we will uh, grab another uh, function called uh, decode predictions in order to grab the, the description and the score of the predictions and we will run a follow-up of the top five and we will print it. That's it. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You are most welcome to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.